Consistent use of relative XREF paths instead of full paths or no paths enables us to work as distributed teams or with colleagues even though we have drawings in multiple folders. The one twist is that although AutoCAD reads relative paths wonderfully and they enable us to do what we want, AutoCAD does not know how to write them properly and never has that I know of. It's a bug. So we cannot pick relative path from this drop-down list. We must pick full path. And we must learn how to convert full paths to relative paths. And that's what I'll show you here. I have here a project that's a good example of this. This project was done by a colleague of mine on his own local computer and we share via Dropbox. You will see indicated by the dots at the beginning of the paths that almost all of these references are relative. We have one here with no path and we have one here with a full path that was provided by the surveyor using his full local path e colon and he did not even provide the file. So we simply have not bothered to detach this but it's nothing we can do anything about. So my colleague did a very good job there. Let's look at the one with no path. For the sake of illustration I have attached smiley face to the border XREF with no path. I know that when there is no path AutoCAD will search its support files search path for the re XREF for the reference file and if it's found in any one of these folders including the current directory and the directory of this drawing AutoCAD will attach it from the first place it is found and for the sake of illustration I have placed in the documents directory a copy of smiley face upside down and we can see that documents is where AutoCAD would look first but we also see that smiley face is right side up therefore AutoCAD did not find smiley face in the path therefore it looked in addition to the path in the folder of the drawing that x it, which is the border. And there we find smiley face right side up in the same directory with the border. Therefore we know that if no path is used, it is the same as though we had used same directory. Now here is how this works. A dot backslash just means same directory as the drawing that, that referenced it. A dot dot backslash means look up one directory. If we add lots of dot dot backslashes, we look up more than one directory. And sometimes AutoCAD will add tons of those when it really doesn't need to go up so far we know that it only needs to go up one and then back down and so it only or maybe it needed to only go up two and back down but AutoCAD will add three or four of them. Let's see how this works with the border XREF. I will detach the border XREF then I'll say attach. Whoops, attach drawing and let's browse for it XREF drawings border XREF and I'll wait 20 seconds later I select full path and wait 20 seconds later the border XREF appears and we can click on it and see what its path has been saved as a complete full path but we know that our colleagues don't have T colon as their Dropbox folder 
So we know it's within ought. We know we just need to go up. Let's try going. Let's actually look in the directory and see where we are. We are grading. Grading is in production. So I go up one and then back down to XREFs. Very simple. Up one and back down to XREFs. Now let's play the AutoCAD game a little bit and go a little superfluously and it'll still work. Let's go up one, up two, then down to plans and down to XREFs. Completely redundant, but it will work. So let's try it. Up one, up two, oh now I have two backslashes, let's delete one, down to plans and down to extras. Hit return and wait. And it finds it just like it did before. Do you see that? But we know that this drawing and the border are both in the plans directory, so we don't need to go up two. Let's just go up one. There it is, dot dot backslash and then back down to, then down to XREFs, and hit return and wait. And now centuries later, it's attached one more time with the new relative path, just like all the others, and it will work fine for any consultant or colleague to whom I give this project directory with all its subdirectories. Now let's philosophize. First, you don't need to do this for all your XREFs. If all your reference files are in the same directory, there's no problem, no path. Okay. That simplifies things. And you can just use relative paths for the few or the that, that are in different directories. Second, this will not work across drives. If you cannot find a way to reference it on the same drive, you can't make a relative XREF, a relative path. <laughs> Third, you don't have to be perfect about this to be golden rule compliant. If my colleague had changed eight out of the ten XREFs to relative and left two undone, I could have seen clearly that he intended well and missed a few. He didn't have to be perfect. He just needed to try. And I would have covered for him and corrected the last two. That's nice, because all you need to do is intend well. You don't have to be perfect. Fourth, this relative path syntax is the same that you will use throughout your career in Windows, Macintosh, and Linux, Unix, if you program or do any file referencing, including web programming, you will reference files with this same dot dot slash or backslash syntax. So this is worth learning and becoming fluent with. This is not esoteric or throwaway knowledge that you will just do for one team. And that's what we all should be looking for. Universal career level knowledge that makes us more golden rule compliant.